Welcome to Kim's Creations and attempt number six. Yes, number six at this winter swipe. Um, <laughs> my consistency's been wrong with all of them. The last time, so on the previous video, um, I thought that perhaps maybe some of my issues were due to the turquoise by Liquitex Basics being too thin. And when I reviewed the video, it was definitely, I even said it on the video, that I thought this one was thinner. So I have made it really thick. Um, it is now mixed one part of my pouring medium, which is glue and water at a 60 to 40% ratio. And then I mix that with the paint at a one part paint pouring medium to one and a half parts of the paint. Uh, the rest of these I've kept the same. This one is also, this one is the Thalo Blue by Montmartre mixed one to 1.5 pouring medium to paint. This here is Artist Loft Light Blue the light blue is pretty thick on its own. Um, and this one, I mixed it two to 1.5. <laughs> and the cerulean blue, back to Montmartre, uh, also one part pouring medium to 1.5 of the cerulean blue of Montmartre. As you can see, all of these paints, super, super, super thick. Not normally how you would have them with a swipe. I've got cut up my paper towel bits, ready to go again, and my white, Artist Loft White, uh, mixed two parts pouring medium, one part paint, and one drop of silicone well mixed in. So that's what I'm gonna use to hopefully create the winter scene I've been trying for for ages, it seems like. All right, let's get to pouring paint on the canvas. All right, that's it for that one. I think I'm putting these in a reverse order than I've done with the previous paintings, but shouldn't really matter. All right, Ooh. drop my stir stick. So I'm hoping this will work because I'm at the end of using most of my paints, it seems like. <laughs> I would really like to move on to something else. All right, light blue. Filling in some of the blanks, but of course I will tilt to cover all the edges. Okay. And another one down, and another one down. Another one bites the dust. Hey. Okay, done, done. And the last but not least, The cerulean blue. I like this color a lot. Pretty much like all of them, blues are my favorite colors. Okay. All done. All right, now we're gonna tilt. 
actually, I think I'm going to, even though these paints have been mixed for a little while, the, um, just my stirring them back up added some bubbles to it, air bubbles. And pouring it onto the canvas did as well. All right, I'm just gonna tip this. So again, there's no silicone in any of these base paint colors. Wow. Still so many bubbles. All right, now you can see, I'm just gonna point this out for my own reference and for anyone who's following me on this journey. <laughs> journey of failures so far. You can see that that um, turquoise blue by Liquitex Basics, you can hardly see it. The predominant color on this is actually um, that cerulean blue. So let's see what happens. All right, got my white in my cup here. Only one drop of silicone in this, as I said before. And I'm gonna do this exactly the same way as I did the last time because I really, really liked the pattern it created. So I am just gonna hope for the best again. Yay, one successful swipe. <laughs> one of many. Oh, can't use that. Oh, I'm gonna leave it down there. <coughs> Excuse me. I was hoping to use that, the other side of that paper towel again, but apparently not. That's okay. And I'm gonna get it close to where I started on the other one, but not right on top, I hope. Well, it was kind of on top. <laughs> So much for that. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there. Grab a skinny one. Little cell, hello little cell. And I'm gonna stagger these like I did before. I really like the look that gives. Okay. All right, I'm good with that. I'm gonna swipe that one again. That was a little one. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And I'm just swiping that one again because of the size of that cell. I'm worried it's going to just continue to grow and grow and grow. And so I'm just going to eliminate it. Yay! I think I have a paint goober in there. Let me grab my tweezers. I see a little bump in here. Need to get that out. Yep. Unmixed paint. All right. And I am going to swipe that again. That one. And then I can just cover up that little goober indentation. Okay, that's it. So now I'm gonna torch lightly and uh, pray. 
again. So I'm starting really high like I did last time. Wow, I can see cells coming up already. guys are too far away with the camera to see the paint kind of looks like it's spitting or popping um, and that's when you know that you're gonna have uh, cells come up in that area so you want to move along get along little doggy trying to get this corner here a little bit looks like I did this bit you can see the cells coming up now. Try and get a few more in there. Okay, I think I'm about ready to put my torch down and um, see what develops. this here I'm gonna take a picture of what this is looking like now I'm hoping that these cells do not deform too much I'm a little bit worried about these guys um, but so far so good all right let's take it down for a close-up really good cells here and see those dark ones <laughs> or the light ones with the dark center just so interesting how these cells pop up and that one over there hello nice light blue came through The phthalo blue in there. Still have that turquoise. Again, I don't know. The turquoise cells seem to be the ones that are getting more misshapen than the others. So if I decide to go for a seventh time, I'm gonna leave out that color and see what happens. All right, well, sorry about the ring light in there. See if I can move that out there. All right, there we have it. I'm going to um, take a picture at this stage and then I'll come back in about 20 minutes and uh, show you the after photo, which hopefully will look pretty much the same as this. Thanks for joining Kim's Creations. Stay tuned for the after photo.